I think punk rock, because the additions are often so low and the art on the cover is often so intense and so grabbing your attention and the records are so desperately trying to be not like anything else. I think that inspires more interest and gotta have it than something that is perhaps made first run 150,000 at a time, like some insert name of big rock band, where it's not that hard of a thing to find. Like if I lost it when I moved to my new apartment, ah, you know, stand outside long enough and one will fall out of the sky into your hand, or you can buy a used for 99 cents. And nothing against Led Zeppelin, I have all those records, but there's nothing on the record that makes me really connect with anyone in the band because they live on another planet. They're, you're never gonna connect with Robert Plant. He's never, you're never gonna walk into the venue and walk up and hey, excuse me, Bob, but at a punk rock show, you could watch the band load in, say, you need some help? And all of a sudden you're a bad brains roadie. That's, this could happen to me. Or, oh, you drop this and like you give the pick back to the guy in the cramps or whatever. And, and all of that happened. And so the records became part of a thing that was so immediate and so close. It became extraordinarily important and precious to me. And, and so I think that was the case with a lot of people who got into punk rock. It became such a vital real part of their lives where you go from spectator, you know, you and 20,000 other people see the great whoever on stage and you're far away and you're thinking about parking and all of that. But when you're at a smaller show, it's a night of your life that becomes something that it's becomes a, another ingredient that composes your whole.